basketball portion of uh, today's luncheon. Uh, Reggie Cajun's men's basketball kicked off uh, preseason practice uh, this past Friday at the Leon Mont Club indoor uh, practice facility in preparation for the third season under the direction of head coach Bob Morrill. Uh, we have with us today head coach Bob Morrill as well as student athlete uh, last year's freshman sensation Alfred Payton now back for his uh, sophomore year. So talk about uh, getting back to the swing of things with preseason practice and looking forward to his sophomore year. A uh, gentleman who averaged over seven points per game for us last year, uh, led the team uh, in assists, and had a couple of electrifying uh, last minute winning plays for us uh, in conference play. We're going to talk about uh, what's going on with Ray Decatur's basketball from the student athlete's perspective. Sophomore guard, Alfred Payton. start with any questions you might have for Alfred. Alfred, last year you kind of took over the reins at the point and people made a big deal. He's young, he's 17 years old and now you're another year into it and maybe you're younger than most sophomores but with so much turnover on the roster, I imagine there are a lot of guys looking to you as kind of the leader of this team, is that fair to say? Uh, yeah, a lot of guys do um, look up to me as the leader um, a lot of guys are, like you said, incoming. So I am one of the veterans on the team. So I'm just trying to do a good job by helping them along the way in practices and the way room and even off the court. How has that transition been for you? I mean, you came in, you know, like Scott kind of alluded to, one of the younger guys, and now you're being looked upon. How, how have you tried to uh, change your approach to the court every day of now kind of leading the guys? Um, well, just basically doing things like as if I always got an eye on me. Um, there's always somebody watching what I do, so I gotta make sure for those guys that I'm, I'm not doing nothing that I wouldn't want them to do. Just keeping, just keeping a good level here and like that. You know, for you this season, uh, what, what are you looking, or what did you work on this off season to try to, you know, fine tune your game and, and take it to that next level? Um, I've been working on uh, expanding my game. You know, a lot last year I really uh, got to the goal a lot, but this year I've been looking to stretch it. Stretch it a little bit, um, shoot a little bit more jump shots, even from behind the three, and I, I've really been trying to work on my defense also. The one thing that uh, gave you and several other guys on the team like, some difficulty at, in times last year was free throw shooting. Is that something that I'm sure is one of those things that you can work on a lot, and sometimes it doesn't, still doesn't get better, but what? What, what has kind of been your approach in all season, mentally, and practice time and all the free throw shooting? Just, just shooting, just getting them up. I mean, all you can do is practice, 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 and that's all I do. Just keep working on it. Just take care of yourself during the game. Yeah, do you feel like even more pressure? I mean, at times, even though you were a freshman last year, they put the ball in your hands in, in crunch time, and now, without as many season scores coming back on this team, that there's even more pressure on you to score or are you trying to avoid how you handle that? Um, I mean, it's a little bit more pressure, but, you know, it's nothing I, I feel I can't do. I feel I'm mentally tough enough to get through that. Yeah. Yeah. Elgin, uh, several people have kind of brought up um, the, the transition in the roster a little bit, Alfred, but um, there is, there, you know, you do have uh, guys like Bryant and um, uh, Kevin who practiced with the team last year, Alamike, um who was here, and uh, those guys, and uh, I mean, with those guys returning, how do you feel you guys' chemistry, you know, is in the backcourt? Well, it's, it's good. I, I believe that's why most of the games are going to have to be won at in the backcourt. So having them here last year is going to be a big help this year. And we're going to have to do a good job helping the guys behind us at the four and five position, especially, and those guys that came in. With so many new faces uh, for Cajun fans, what – do you like about the incomers? What do they kind of bring to the table that you think can make this a special season for you guys? Uh, hard work. You know, it's a different style, man. I think we're we'll playing a lot, a lot faster this year. Any other questions for Elf? That's it. <laughs> 